Hello everyone, I'm Sean at Sepator Prod, back for another week of weekly K-pop reviews. Going to be breaking down the latest tracks, seeing what I think of them. Here we go. Before that, if you like the channel, want to support it, link in description. P1 Harmony, killing it. The sax on this track is nasty. Great energy in the vocal performance. It's reminiscent of Monster X or NCT. The horn is less obnoxious than other K-pop tunes out there, uh, but it's still up there. The beat is fine. I like the dynamics on this track at certain times, but still kind of plods. It's a little grating. It's kind of mid. Apex, Graduation Day. This is a well-made mid-tempo spring tune. The group vocal moments are tasteful. They're fun. They're mixed well. The guitar is pleasant. It accompanies the keys really well. I respect the brighter sound on this one. It takes what could be a smooth, deep R&B song into a spring mood. It works. The vocal performance, it's pretty good. Maybe a couple moments of heavy auto-tuning, but otherwise this is a pretty good effort from Apex. I'm keen to hear more from them. Ocean from the Blue, 25, a color show. Mm, this tune's sick. Wet, swirling, detuned synths around a fun, acoustic sounding beat that's tastefully compressed. It's nice and scratchy in the high mids. The vocal is well done, dynamic. I especially loved the I did it moments. I don't know about the 20, 20, 25 hook though. It didn't quite grab me. I recommend this one though. It's definitely worth giving a shot. Joe Guangil's plosive, very fast flows from the Show Me The Money 10 winner. I love the UK drum and bass beat. It's mixed well, the slower effective vocal singing parts were meh, but at least it gave it some dynamics. It stands out this one, check it out. Don Mills, another rapper with OK. Don Mills, man, underrated, like great dynamic flows, catchy hook. The only deterrent is the dated auto-tune sound. I'm very tired of this aggressive auto-tune, like Leave it in the 2010s. The song doesn't overstay its welcome. It clocks in at under two minutes, but I want a little more. It's a good track. Lim Kim, Alt. This track's awesome. Hyper pop leaning. It's like 100 Gex or Charlie XCX. The instrumental is abstract. It's got percussion pops against a trap beat. The chorus has a weird double kick effect going on. Bit too weird. That was grating. But Lim Kim's performance, very cool. Tastefully digital sounding. The bridge outro, so great. Distorted bass, naughty lyrics. It's my favorite Lim Kim track by far. O Wave, fixed. Ball so. O Wave's back. Come to Me was in my top 50 K pop songs last year. This new one called Ball so, it's pretty good. Production is wavy, it's an affected flute swirling around the mix that's cool. The performance was as good as I've heard O Wave, not better though. I hold them to high standards because I really loved Come To Me, so I found this one a touch underwhelming. The chorus hook wasn't that catchy, the fast flow in it, it's great, but it affects the dynamics. It was kind of one note. Pandagon, Kid Millie, Sofa Glue, great track name. I wasn't stoked on the intro of this track, felt boring, kind of standard R&B like Jibanoff, Car the Garden type stuff, but the performance is excellent. The emotion is palpable. Kid Millie, he's awesome. He suits the track like a glove. The track, kind of shoegazy, post-rock leaning. It unexpected, but mournful bliss. Voices are mixed beautifully. The guitar tone is warm and washed in reverbs, delays. It builds and crescendos nicely. Although I wish the vocal did as well, it stayed one note, which was a choice. I kind of respect it, but I wanted it to really soar in that end bit. Check this one out though, cool track. Woo Jin Young, Closer. The winner of Mix 9, Woo Jin Young, dropped an EP. Don't Worry Be Happy. It's called. The title track is Closer. It's an okay disco infused pop song. Definitely a good vocalist. The production is pretty good. It's maybe a little over compressed, especially the drums and the bass. It's not a very memorable, but it's an okay track. Hwanji, Father. This song's heartbreaking. It's a beautiful performance. I don't have much to say, but just listen. Beautiful stuff. Super Junior LSS, Joke. The song sounds a lot like J pop. Uh, like cartoon, Kanjani 8 kind of sound. It's better than Come On, but it was lacking dynamics compared to Suit Up, which is so far the best one Super Junior LSS has had. The performance is great, it's fun, it's more of the same really, but that's fine, like Super Junior LSS have a sound, and that's great, I respect it. Crucial Star, 2009, featuring Unofficial Boy. 
The accent on a different part of the beat made this one stand out. It's got a standard jazzy hip-hop arrangement, standard lo-fi leaning mix and production, but it hits different. Singing parts were great, not auto-tuned aggressively, pleasantly warm distortion and delivery. Unofficial Boy brings some dynamics to the track, which was welcome. It's great. I recommend it for the jazzy lo-fi hip-hop head. That'll do it for this week. Thanks so much for listening or watching. I'm Sean. Buy me a coffee. Till next time.